Hello besties, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing some hairstyles because I realized I've done a lot of content on hairstyles on my Instagram and TikTok, but I haven't done any on YouTube. So I was like, we can't leave you out. T3 sent me over a new hot tool that I really wanna try out. We are gonna be styling a, I don't know what we're gonna to do today. Actually, my hair is currently up. I don't have a lot of product in it, so we should be able to work with it. But this is going to be some spring blowout type of hairstyle, so let's see what we can do. I don't think I've ever really tried this the way that I'm imagining I want to try it, but we're gonna figure it out together. This is the hot tool that I received from T3. This is the T3 Single Pass Curl Wand. It is one inch, it's their original classic, but it got an upgrade. It has an extra long barrel now and a one hour auto timer. It's for all hair types. I like that it has nine heat settings, which works for so many different hair types, and it also has a twist on and off. I think the goal here is we're going to do a little bit of curl and a little bit of rollers. I have my rollers that I bought off of Amazon, which everything of course will always be linked in the description box. Take out my hair right now from this messy bun. We'll get to styling. So I did have my hair up in a bun earlier and I shouldn't have put a hair wax stick on, but I did and it did kind of make my hair a little greasy looking. So I went in with my dry shampoo by Living Proof. I probably could have washed it out with water, but I figured since we're just doing a practice hairstyle, it's not a big deal. Of course, if I do this hairstyle again, I will definitely make sure my hair is clean. Before you get to styling, I like to use my heat protectant. This one's by Bumble and Bumble. It's really good. It makes my hair smell really good and it definitely does help because I noticed my hair feels healthier as I've been using this. Then with my hair wand, I'm basically focusing on curling the tips, but I do bring it up a little high and then hold it for a couple of seconds. It's gonna be kind of hot once the hair is released from the hot tool, so I really quickly grab my hair rollers and put it up as soon as possible. So I suggest having them ready nearby so that you can quickly grab them. And I'm also using the medium size hot rollers that I have. I probably could have used a bigger one if I wanted more loose waves, but this is gonna be more of like a curled blowout look so I ended up just going with these slightly smaller ones then I'm just sectioning off my hair in somewhat small sections because if you do it too thick it's gonna be kind of hard to hold it in the barrel so I just do small sections at a time working from the middle part of my hair down and the top part, as you can see, I've clipped off because I'm gonna do that last. Then you just wanna repeat this until you have all of your hair rollers in. My hair is not that long, so this doesn't take me very long, but I'm just gonna speed through this rest of the part so we're not sitting here forever. <laughs> Then for the front piece, I went back in with the curling tool because I wanted to give it a little more curl. If you have shorter bangs, you probably don't need to do this, but this is just what I wanted to do to create more face framing. Mm -hmm. All right, besties, now we literally just need to let this sit for 15 minutes. So we've got our timer and we shall wait for 15 minutes. While we wait, I will touch up my makeup because it's starting to look, I did my makeup a long time ago. Just using some powder, which of course is gonna be linked down below, my Laura Mercier powder with the discount code for you all. A tad bit more bronzer at the hairline. I'm probably gonna touch this up again after I take out the rollers. <laughs> All right, time is up. And now for my favorite part, we are gonna take these out. But before we do that, we're gonna add a little bit of this BB Thickening Texture Spray by Bumble and Bumble. 
This is the dry spun texture spray for big instant volume and lift that holds all day. I actually got a tip from my hair stylist recently. She said that texturizing spray over hairspray actually. So as you take them out, I do comb through the piece of hair with the hair roller because it has a little bit of like a combing effect, but I don't wanna use a brush just yet because I don't wanna take out the curls before I have time to set them. So this is just what I find works. And don't worry, it's not gonna look perfect when you first take them out, I realize. So you can always touch it up and style it and change it a little bit after. If you need to tame some of the frizz, use a wide tooth comb because you don't wanna brush out the curl entirely. So this will kind of help. This is the final look, how it came out. It's kind of giving like Marilyn Monroe vibes a little bit or something along the lines of that. But I really liked how this came out. Not what I expected, but it is really fun, very bouncy and voluminous. And of course you have to do a couple of hair spins. There's one, oh, there's two and then three, four, how many times are we gonna do this? I don't know, it's too fun. This is the final look. Wow, I'm sorry. I was having a moment because this came out so much better than I thought and it is so worth the wait. If you're gonna need to like lift the root at all like I'm doing now, use a wide tooth comb or like, I find that the end of this rat tail comb, I think it's called, works really well if you wanna just like insert it here and lift certain parts that are like sticking together because of the hair product and whatnot. And then you can just like kind of play with it. But obviously I would say don't touch it too much. It's so hard not to just wanna to touch this over and over because it's so fun. I'm going to definitely be doing this hairstyle again many, many times. And maybe I'll learn some more tips and tricks along the way that I could show you. But for now, I'm really happy with how this came out. Like you could even, I usually part my hair behind the ear on one side. So like, like even just like wearing it like that looks super cute. Yes, I think I like that more actually. I used the curler on the front piece because I reparted it to the side. So I needed to add a little extra like volume going in one direction, but well, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial besties. Let me know in the comments if you did and give it a big thumbs up if you did, please. It would mean so much so I could do more hairstyle tutorials for you, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.